Hello, it's been a really busy month and Jared and I were thinking, well, I don't know, can we do a video in December? And I decided, yes, I'm gonna do a video in December. So because this is a season of giving, I decided to spend a couple minutes and have some tips for novice filmmakers, as well as uh, some tips for um, some more advanced um, editing users. I wanna talk specific specifically about my uh, one of my favorite effects in Adobe After Effects that you must learn. So let's get right into it. So my first tip for uh, new filmmakers, or if you're pretty serious about it, uh, regardless, is watch movies and write down cool things like, hey, that was a really cool transition, or wow, that was a really unique camera movement, or even better, um, find story elements that might be unique or that you really want to incorporate into your own films. Second thing is go make movies. Get out there, make a movie. Doesn't matter how long, how good it is, just go out there and make it. You don't even have to publish it on YouTube. It's partly why I started my uh, make a movie every month thing, just because I wanted to get out there, do something with my camera, make a video, and keep uh, expanding on my skills. The third tip is get out of your comfort zone. No, don't just get out of your comfort zone. That's what a lot of people say. I want you to get over your head so much that you can't swim. That's where you're gonna grow the most. Remember, the strongest steel is forged in the hottest fire. So go out there, do something that seems completely ridiculous that you don't think that you're gonna be able to do and try to do it. And you may completely fail, but hopefully you'll learn something and you'll find out here's what I need to work at and here's what I'm really good at and that's a good step in uh, becoming a better filmmaker. The fourth tip that I have is to learn how to use your camera uh, specifically um, in manual mode if you have that. Um, phone cameras are fantastic because most of us have phones that shoot video anyway and they're an affordable option to uh, a lot of filmmakers. Some of them have manual modes. See if you can figure out how to use that. Uh, otherwise, if you have a DSLR, learn how to use it. Always shoot on manual. Learn the f-stop, ISO, shutter speed, and how that affects your photo or video because you can achieve drastically different looks by how you use those functions on your camera. For the next part of the video, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite uh, effects in Adobe After Effects. Question for you, what do light rays, clouds, gunshots, and fog have in common? Anything? Well guess what? They all use the fractal noise effect. So I'm going to jump onto my computer, uh, open up Adobe After Effects, show you how I've used a fractal noise effect, and then we will um, take a look at how it could be of use in your videos in the future. All right, so here we are in Adobe After Effects. Uh, like I just previewed, this is a scene from Abscond uh, where John Fredrickson comes over the barrier here and starts shooting at Damien. Um, so we have him coming over and then bang, bang, bang. Um, I used fractal noise for this. So let's take a look at this muzzle flash here. And if I open it up to layer, you can see it's just a uh, kind of a stylized fractal noise. Over here, there it is, I used a radio blur. So if we uh, take these all down and get rid of them, you can see that it's just that fractal noise on there, but I've add, added some more effects to make it look really epic. All right, so here I have just created a new composition. Um, so we'll create a new solid and this will be our fractal noise. And then you can either type it in over here to find it, or it's under noise and grain, fractal noise. And from here, it's like, well, what can I do with this? It doesn't do anything. It just looks white, gray, black dust. Well, the evolution, um, let's say I made keyframe there, we'll just go one cycle, and I've got this interesting, 
I don't know, sort of a surface moving thing. <laughs> There's all sorts of different types of fractal noise uh, that you can do. There's a dynamic one. I used this for the clouds earlier. Um, and then you could even do boxes. You can have some cool effects there. One thing I really like about After Effects is it really is um, completely up to your imagination how you use these things. So I could bring the contrast up and maybe the brightness down. And this is how if you wanted to find a gunshot, the scale of complexity, and scale it up a little bit. You could look around for one that looks kind of like a gunshot. And so this one looks like it could be a kind of a unique one coming towards you. Or what you could do is set a rotation and then go to the end. You can do some interesting there. Kind of a pinwheel effect. So now it just looks like clouds are flying, flying away. You can do some pretty interesting things with that. Uh, like bring it in, you can put it on top of other solids. So if I put the transfer mode to screen, you'll notice that my fractal noise is on top of my on top of my solid. Put a airplane window on top of it, and you could create some interesting effects here. In the interest of time, I went ahead and finished what I was doing. Um, I just took the fractal noise and put it behind this airplane window that I cut out, and it looks like you could be flying. See, I have the fractal noise going behind, um, and then a black gradient just for stylization. So you could use this for clouds, smoke, really anything. It's a very, very versatile uh, effect that you should definitely learn, and there's lots of different tutorials out there for, to do some pretty cool things. So, so there we have it. Hopefully you learned something and enjoyed it a little bit. Um, and because this will be coming out on January 1st, 2017, have a, have, have a happy new year. <laughs> and bladed Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah uh, to you as well. So uh, always check back. I will be doing another video in December. Not quite sure what that's gonna be on yet, but hopefully it'll be uh, back outside um, doing some more interesting cinematography rather than uh, having being inside with uh, a talking face. So I'm just going to cut it there. <laughs>